worked in the building. But he did know about it. He was in the conspiracy. Jack Ruby, that's the man. He set the whole thing up. And that's why he shot Oswald to silence the past. I've learned more here than I would have learned in that museum. You sure have. Yeah. I'm glad so I didn't pay thirteen fifty. So they're gonna tell you the biggest lie in the world for thirteen dollars and fifty cents. <laughs> wow. That's awesome. That is pretty. I'm, I'm, I don't know what to believe in this world. But I just found it weird that you're telling me that two dudes were standing here with guns while the president came through and nobody was like, hey man, put your rifle up. That's what's bad right now. That's what's bad. This picture was taken 16 seconds before the president was shot. That's me in the red and white plaid shirt right there. Holy crap. Right there. Yes, sir. I was 13 years old. My grandmother, Miss Vivian Neal, my aunt, Miss Hattie Mae Williams, and my other aunt, Miss Jeffrey Mae Spencer. We came down to see the president that morning, like everybody else, just coming to see the president. Certainly didn't know what we were about to see. No, y'all had front row seats. 18 seconds after that picture was taken, the first shot hit him. Right here. Right here. Right here. Right here. Where were you standing? I was standing right there by the day I was taking care of We had been Yeah. That's that same day. This man right here. That's Officer B.W. Harkins of the Dallas Police Department. Retired now. He's still living, 81 years old. He was here on the anniversary two weeks ago, November 22nd. He's the greatest witness to the Kennedy assassination, that man right there. He was riding about a foot and a half to the left of the limousine on Miss Kennedy's side on his motorcycle. And that guy fired that bullet. Like I said, the skull went back and landed behind the lamp pole. But the blood and brain went back and hit Officer Harkins right in the face, just drenched him. And he jumped off his motorcycle and pulled his pistol and he ran up this hill. And he's the man who coined the phrase. He said, I ran up the grassy knoll. That's where the term grassy knoll came from, that man right there. And when Officer Hargis got up here, right where this car is sitting right here, right there at the end of the fence, and then there's a green mark there about the three poles down. That's where the three men were with the Secret Service back there. Service ID but according to the police 35 minutes later, they were not Secret Service agents. I didn't believe they were anyway. They had the credentials. And this is what enabled the government to get away from. The man that fired that shot, James Files, he's still living. He hit the president in the head. He's in Statesville Prison, Joliet, Illinois. right here was Charles House, Charles Hitman House, Woody Nelson's father. He fired that gun. Woody Nelson, the actor, killed him. His father. Woody Nelson's father killed 37 people in his lifetime. That's how he got his nickname, Charles Hitman House. He killed his first man in 1952. He killed a Houston police officer in Houston, Texas in 1952. The last man that he killed was the United States Federal District Judge. John Wood blew his head off down in San Antonio, May the 16th, 1979. And that's where he spent 28 years in prison. He died in 2007 at the Federal Penitentiary in Greeley, Colorado, four years ago. But he admitted in 66 that he fired the shot that hit the president in the throat. He was aiming for his head, but this drop in Elm Street, he misled his shot just a little bit. And the shot hit the president in the throat. That's what he said. And he admitted that in 66. And uh, the Corporate Actions Branch of the CIA come right here to the corner. Walk and walk right here. It's kind of hard to see because it's beginning to fade. You see that white mark over there on the curve? That's where Mr. Tigg was standing and he got shot in the face. The bullet hit him right here. And he's still living. He was here on the 22nd also. He's the man that got hit with the, with the ricochet bullet. And then right there on the sidewalk, you see where that black guy is with the bald head? There, yeah. there was a man standing there with an umbrella. We all saw him. They called him the Umbrella Man. And he was pumping the umbrella up and down. Everybody saw that. You see it in all the films. 
and he was signaling the gunman. So you had two gunmen here on the grass in old. There was a gunman in the sixth floor window, and then there was one on top of the Dow Tech's building there across the street. However, you go up to the sixth floor museum, like again, I tell you, you're going to hear the most monogamous lie ever. And anybody that believes that all Wall shot the president, that's very sad because he didn't. He fired no shots whatsoever. But he did kill Tippett. And that's what he was arrested for that day, killing a Dallas police officer. Most definitely. Awesome. That's good stuff. My mind's blown right now.